What's up guys, how you guys doing today? A bit of a different video, but something just came up. We might have one last chance. Ignore this. Cut my finger a little bit, gashed it on a rock. That's not important. Oh my god, that's heavy. Um, but we might have one last chance to grade with the blue label before they change it. They don't change it till uh, about midway through July, so I'm trying to pick out cards to send in before that. Uh, this is the only ones I've gotten so far. So I got these three energies and these three other cards. Of course, subject to change, especially with these. The only one I really want to do is the Mewtwo so far. And then the only one I really want to do out of the energies is the pink one for sure. But that's where I need your guys' help. I'll do the zipper real quick. I have, I, like, I want to do this, but I have a beat up one coming in that I was going to try to get a CGC one with. So I'm debating sending two. Uh, I wouldn't mind sending the Rainbow Ray. Gyarados is nice. So, yeah, the Misty's nice. There's some nice Jirachis, like the Hollows. Like these older ones are really nice. Some more Legendary Collection Reverse Hollows would be good. Like, and then... I thought about this one, but I looked at the centering and it wouldn't get a 10, so... Well, it might with the new new way to grade and stuff, so, like, it could get a 9.5, but, probably not any trainers, possibly this guy or this guy, and then those are somewhat good, somewhat, this is the page where I'm thinking about the most, I, actually, I don't think I have a prime card graded with CGC yet, Maybe we do do a prime. Do do. I think highest grade would be Celebi or Espeon. But that Gengar. Let's just slide him out real quick. Uh, it's got a gnarly bend there. You know, we might get like a 2.5 on the Gengar, and it could be worth it. I might do Espeon. Or we have this shiny, this shiny. Actually, I kind of want to do Voltorb. Is he like near mint? He is... Probably like a 7 or an 8. But this is one of those cards that uh, I believe has the hollow foil all out through it. That's going in the pile of contenders. These two might be. I would have liked to get this set done, but uh, they're not really worth it. They're more for the binder right now. These two I'm also considering. Also, this one. The Bidoof would be cool, but he, this would definitely only be like a $10 card after. It's all said and done. Because I doubt it would get higher than an 8. But, yeah, that's what we got for now. Let me know in the comments below what you think from this binder I should grade. Because I'm pretty sure what I have left here isn't anything valuable. Like, that'd be worth grading. This stuff, like, this, I'd love to grade that. But you see that big bend down the middle? Like, this would get, like... Maybe a four. And then this, he's pretty beat up too. And this, we already know he's beat up from the last video. Shame. 
And we also, I mean, we do have like some older cool stuff. Like we got the promos. We got one of the most expensive Toys R Us promos right now sealed. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think I should uh, grade from this. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Subscribe for more. And go comment on that giveaway video. Literally only two people have commented on it so far. I guess nobody wants to give away. Free cards, boys.